Today we were doing this heavy duty cleaning. This is more than a deep cleaning um, because there was a lot of garbage, mold, humidity, bacteria, and you're gonna see it. It's a, a small bathroom, this is not a master bathroom, a small bathroom full of garbage and mildew and some mold. Uh, the problem with this person is that this bathroom is upstairs. There was a leaking in the toilet. They're gonna replace the toilet. So she called us just to do one bathroom. And we said, okay, we can do that tomorrow right when she called me she said i'm gonna ask you like a, a special request okay tell me how special it is i just want one bathroom and she explained the reason why because of the leaking of the toilet she said that she already bought a new toilet and she hired a plumber but the plumber said you have to clean the bathroom first Maybe she called a company, a plumber company, and they say you have to clean the bathroom first. So that's the reason why she hired us. The whole house was dirty, okay? They have cats, and I see a big dog. Um, German Shepherd is the dog that she had. So a lot of pet hair and cat hair. Even though there is a, a leaking in the toilet, all the bathroom was dirty, full of garbage, um, a lot of hair, paper, um, I see a Pepsi bottle, many things, okay? They put some towels to contain the water on the floor and all the towels was around the toilet and on top of the top. She removed most of the towels and I had to remove one more red towel on the bottom of the toilet. This is the side of the toilet and they put a pad, a kitchen pad, to hold the water that was leaking from the tubing. And you see there was toilet paper that was damaged with the water and become some mold and mildew. You see right there under the cabinet, a Pepsi bottle of soda, a lot of paper toilet, things like that. The doors were dirty, the sink, the cabinet, the shower, pretty much everything. So, how we did it? Because it's the second floor, we couldn't bring our Ecolab cleaning caddy. That machine has two lines, actually one line for water and the product where we spray the product and also a vacuum hose where we absorb all the dirt. Because it's in the second floor, we couldn't bring up that machine because it's heavy. So we decide to use a palm sprayer with a foam nozzle and a, a small chalk bag. We try not to touch nothing. So this is the reason why we use some clamps to pick it up the things. It was, usually we don't carry a broom, but we find a broom in the second floor, so we use some, sometimes the broom. But usually we don't carry a broom in our truck. We use a lot of vacuuming, a vacuum to absorb, I don't believe in brooms. So now eh, I was picking up everything that it was for the, from the bar barber razor. I might really apologize in front, in advance for my English. I tried to translate 
everything that I think. And sometimes I think in Spanish I have to translate in English. So you see already the part, the kitchen part that was holding the water. And that black is uh, forming the mold with the paper towel, with the paper toilet. So our purpose is not to touch the surface and use something that leverage our work. We try to remove as much as we could all the trash. And then for the tap and the shower, I use our Ecolab palm sprayer. I like this kind of a sprayer because it gives me some foam. Uh, the product that I'm using is a peroxide um, cleaner with some dawn detergent. Why I'm using peroxide? Because our main concern about this bathroom was disinfecting. I really don't want to use Clorox because of the smell. Peroxide is more friendly for us. I didn't see that much of subs come. It, it was more about disinfecting and sanitizing. Some dirt, a little bit of subs come, but not that heavy in reality. Okay? So we were spraying using our Ecola palm sprayer and with the foam nozzle. This is an adaptation that I did. I also have a small hand sprayer that I bought in Amazon with the foam nozzle. Also, you can buy in Temu. Temu is a website that all the products are from China. The quality is not that great, however, it does the job. This part of the video, I'm reducing the speed and I'm doing in 0 0.25 so you can see how we spray the cleaner, the disinfectant, and how, how you see all the hair, all the grime from the sink for the vanity sink. I really like to watch it, so I really thought that doing a slow motion will give you some pressure, like pleasure to see it. I don't know if you like anything about cleaning, but I really love cleaning. So, this is the reason why we do it. One of the things that we always use in this kind of situation is different type of equipment. Equipment that we can wash, like the chalk bag. The chalk bag is a really good dry and wet vacuum, a strong suction, plastic, so we can wash and disinfect really easy. We use some glove, heavy duty glove, different type of shoes. We don't use the same shoes for a regular cleaning uh, versus a heavy duty cleaning. And we use mask to protect ourselves. Well, Sonia is more using mask because uh, using sometimes mask for me is gonna lower my ability to breathe. I use in one hand my glove and my other hand I don't use glove because I carry my cell phone to record. When something is heavy or when I'm close to the surface, I use my mask. In this situation, Sonia was the one who was doing the job. So she took some precautions and used the PPA, the protections. Uh, you are seeing right now how we clean. 
this is a heavy duty and we don't like to use the same kind of cloth or microfiber cloth for other houses. In this kind of job, we use cotton rags that is really cheap, low quality, but we can throw it out. Also, we use a disposable um, Rubbermaid um, cloth that you're gonna see as soon. So as soon as we spray the peroxide with the soap on all the top and all the shower walls, then we scrub with the cotton rag. This is just a scrubbing, okay? In the meantime that works, we are gonna use our vapor steamer to, cl to clean and disinfect the window. There was some mites and the mites appear because of the odor and the appearance of the mold and the humidity in this bathroom. Another thing that we don't like to, to use in this kind of situation is a lot of water. <coughs> uh, that's the reason why we like to clean with the steamer so we don't create more mold. In the sink, the situation was really not heavy but dirty a lot of mites so we have to really disinfect and use soap to brush and clean the sink and the vanity fixtures let it sit so the peroxide will disinfect and clear all the area from the sink rinse our cotton and now we are passing to do the shower using a magic eraser. There is many types of magic eraser. You can buy some magic eraser in the Dollar Tree and the quality is not that good. I buy my magic eraser in BJ's, uh, the big box of 4X. So it's more durable. Sonia right now is steaming the walls and still cleaning the top using my magic eraser and removing the all the dirt and things like that. When we spray the product on the surface, we have to let it sit so the product can do the job. Not only disinfect but clean. The more time that you leave the product on the surface, it's gonna do a better job for me and no too much scrubbing and get tired of my hands. You see it right now the corners, the the, the floor and a lot of mold. So we don't want to touch that so that's the reason why we use our steamer and the steamer is gonna melt the paper stick on the surface and then I'm using right now the chalk bag. The chalk bag is gonna give me the ability to absorb all the water, all the dirt, and reduce the chance to use any kind of microfiber cloth or more cloth. I don't want to use cloth because every cloth that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna throw it out. So that's the reason why we like to use a chalk bag. The chalk bag that I'm using is a small red and black, a wet and dry bag, really good. Then I'm going to show you the disposable microfiber cloth that we use, where we attach it with the base of the vapor steamer. The vapor steamer that we use is from Harbor Freight. I have plenty of videos about talking about this vapor steamer. It's cheap, it's good, it's from Harbor Freight Central Machine. It's 130 or something like that. Uh, in the meantime, Sonia was cleaning the bathroom. Uh, I uh, told the lady that the stairs need some attention and a lot of her hair. 
And she said, well, I'm going to replace the, the, the carpet. So, you know what? We really enjoy cleaning. Let me clean the stairs for you. At least no steam cleaning, but at least vacuuming and remove as much as possible all the the derbies, all the garbage and the pet hair from the stairs. I just have this clip from the stairs, but after I finish editing this video, I'm gonna do the whole video cleaning the stairs or vacuuming the stairs and all the edges. So the next step is using our vapor steamer and do all the grout lines to make it more sanitized and clean. Ah, I was talking about the Harbor Freight, right? I bought our vapor steamer in Harbor Freight. Check in our playlist. Do your research and search. Vapor steam machine, Harbor Freight, something like that. You're gonna see it when I open the new box and if you want to buy it, buy it, it's worth it. It's, it's really worth it because I use it for so many things to clean in the doors, the bathroom, the towel, the grout, cleaning and sanitizing. Uh, but if you are gonna buy that, make sure that you spend a little bit more, like 40 bucks more or, or 30 bucks more, and I buy two years of warranty. So in case that something broke, I just go and they replace and they give me another vapor steamer. So I have been using this machine for so many years. I replace it so many times, like three times already but it's so worth it. Years ago, I spent more than $1,000 uh, for um, Refresh Your Home, a commercial vapor steamer from Italy, all metal, uh, continuous water, so we don't have to stop the machine, let it cool, and again, uh, put the water and start working again but it was heavy and I consider that this machine is more compact it's not that heavy, has all the tools and it's really good the cloth that I'm using right now or Sonia is using right now is the, is the cloth that I was talking about that is disposable cloth and we always use this type of cloth for these kind of houses so you have to know which kind of cloth you are going to use, or paper towel, or something that you can throw it out. You can use microfiber cloth, but make sure that you're going to charge to the client accordingly, because you're going to throw it out everything unless you really want to wash it. But we don't wash those kind of cloth. I really enjoy doing the cleaning and sanitizing with vapor steamer. I have been using vapor steamer since 2010, even before Walmart has some vapor steamers. So I really enjoy because there is no residue. Remember the first time, I don't know if you see it when Sonia sprayed the peroxide and the down soap and all the surface and even on the glass now and also she used a small mop by anger to clean the glass but now i'm using the vapor steamer not only to sanitize but to make it more pretty more clear with no residue and now i'm using just one blue microfiber cloth because the surface is already clean but this is the final touch the bottom part of the glass when it's close to the water is more dirty and you have to put more product or more steam in that area I don't know if I pause ah come on 
Yes, okay. We continue recording. Now I'm using again the vapor steamer for the final <laughs> rinse and the final touch. So remove everything and dry properly. It takes time, but it's worth it and the clients love it, you know, love the, the finish, love the way we clean because we are not in the rush, we do our job and they pay for that. This client was was really nice. Um, they pay us cash and then she give us $50 tip by sale. And also she gave me a really good review in our Google business. She's gonna replace the toilet by all the floor is sanitized. She put a really, really good review on Google. She said that she can even eat on that bathroom. So stay tuned for the next video about the stairs, okay? Thank you. Bye.